everybody knows what's a chakra. Hmm? Chakra is an English word, hmm? Chinese also. Chakra is a Chinese word. <laughs> Chakrishwara means uh, someone who has mastered all dimensions of energy within oneself. There are different manifestations of the same thing. It's not that there are different forms of energy, different manifestations. It's like the electricity right now is functioning as light, functioning as a camera too. Maybe functioning as a filter in the Chandrakund, same electricity. Found different expressions. Similarly in the body, the same life energy found different expressions. Because of the way it functioned, if you touch the electricity in certain way, a motor will run. If you touch it in another way, poof, light will come on, fan will turn, something will happen. But fundamentally, as far as electrici electricity is concerned, it's doing the same thing. Yes, the electricity does not know whether it's throwing out light or it's cooling the place or it's, you know, enhancing my voice. The electricity does not know these things. It is the way a particular instrument is wired and designed that it becomes that. So similarly, the same energy flowing everywhere, but because of the way it is tangled in different places, as per the tangle, it generates a different manifestation of life, one hundred and fourteen. We can deduce it in multiples, seven is a deduction and also a classification. In each classification, sixteen into seven, hundred and twelve. Two, we're leaving it out because there's nothing much you can do about it. For this plant to blossom, we can nurture the root, we can trim the branches, we can do something, something, but once it's flowered, there's nothing to do nothing to do with the flowers. Similarly, the two of them are like flowers. If they blossom, there's really nothing to do, just enjoy it. Only one hundred and twelve to work with. These hundred and twelve fall into seven categories of sixteen each. How to become a master of all these things? But the problem is, how do you feel when you're a master of all these things? Don't worry about how the hell you feel, just get there, no? If you want to go up to the seventh hill, there's a certain level of stress on the knees and lungs and everything. Right here, if you stand and think, if I go and stand there on the peak, how will it feel? This peak is very related to being a chakraswara because someone left their body through all the seven chakras. So right here if you sit down and think, even physically, how does it feel up there? Will you get anywhere near that experience? I'm asking. You have to go through the pains, isn't it? It's painful if you're not fit. If you're fit, it's a joy to climb. So the best thing to do is get yourself fit, so that joyfully you can climb. Otherwise you may clean, climb painfully and when you… by the time you go there, you may be in so much pain that you don't experience anything, you just want to come down. A lot of people are like this. <laughs> they come all the way to Kailash, all they want is to go back and find a hotel room where they can sleep and shit in a proper place, <laughs> really. 
<laughs> I'm not joking. They start fantasizing about how they will use the bathrooms. <laughs> Though we provide them with the most scenic bathrooms in the world, So before you go there, don't fantasize, no use. Don't even think of all this Chakreshwara business, all this. This is all you have to look at. Simple, you know. Let's say you take this flower, hmm? You want to throw it at him. Will it go there or will it fly somewhere else? That's a question, see? with every moment. If this has to touch the tip of your nose, will it touch you or will it go like this? This is the question. I am saying something as simple as moving your hand to looking, to observing, to seeing. Can you do everything with a certain level of precision? If you bring this precision into everything that you do, you are slowly gaining control over this. Physically, forget about energy, Phys physically, physical body itself flying all over the place, you don't know where it goes. Now, this is why we asked you to do Hatha Yoga in the morning, to get the precision. After doing Suri Namaskar for three years, still we can find one dozen mistakes minimum. Because to get precision is not easy, it takes a lot of work. Lots of work. If you bring that into your thing, slowly you gain mastery over the system. First over the voluntary part of it, then over the involuntary parts of it, then over energy, then over intelligence, then over thought, emotion, everything. Sitting here, if you ask me, when I become the master of the universe, how does it feel? If you get halfway, you may feel like Alexander, the great. <laughs> he wanted to conquer the world and know how it feels. He conquered half and felt terrible. So three and a half chakras, if you get mastery, you may feel terrible, you think so? You think so? I'm saying that's not how it works. Don't waste your time with these kind of things. I will tell you, you know Chakraeshwara, how it feels like this, like this, like this, like this. What do you know? Just waste of time and you will fantasize about something that you do not know. No use. Just see, what are the things that you don't have control about? Just see, if you can pick an innocuous dot, a simple spot on this floor and simply look at it. Somebody says, snake, still you don't know. Whatever happens, you're just there. Just try it. That's why we taught you meditation in the middle of the day when people are moving around, making noises, be, there is work to be done, everything but. No matter, everybody is talking, they are talking about you. <laughs> no, 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 they are talking whatever. This is gaining control. The more control you gain over yourself, the more things you can do effortlessly. Is it so? See, control does not mean limit. Control means it breaks limitations. Let's say you're riding a bicycle. The more control you have, more tricks you can do on the bicycle, isn't it? If you have a lot of control, you can be writing and do text. <laughs> Don't you try that. <laughs> In the ashram, if you try that, we'll take away your bicycle and your phone.
But the more control you have, more freedom it gives you, isn't it? The more control you have over this, more freedom it gives you. Less control you have, less entanglement, more entanglement you have and less freedom you have. So, instead of thinking of Mount Everest <laughs> to start with, better to climb the steps up and down in Isha Yoga Center. Hmm? You… this boy, you must put him on a duty at the Surya Kund. <laughs> up and down, you must empty the tank tomorrow. <laughs> we'll give you two buckets. <laughs> It'll work, believe me. These days we can't, you know, the gurus are crippled because you can't use any method that works. Somebody will file human rights. <laughs> you can't do what's needed. You have to do pussycat stuff. You can't do what's needed straight, you have to… the way they like it. Believe me, if you have children, if you did everything the way they like it, they would have been squawny nonsense. Yes or no? Little you force fed them a little bit, you conned them, you lied to them, you did whatever and put some stuff into them, isn't it so? Yes or no? Huh? Did you do that or no? Otherwise you never brought up a child, believe me. So similarly, a guru should be given that little latitude. If everything has to be according to a norm, then little crippled guru, you know. <laughs> Because if you already know what he will do with you and you already calculated what will happen, what will not happen, it doesn't work like that. It will always come in a way you never imagined possible. And because people have set plans in their mind, when things come in the, di in the way they did not expect, they will let it pass by. Today, modern mind has reached this point that if you light a lamp and let it float in front of them, you must tell them, this is a lamp. Otherwise they look at it like this, huh? No, nobody told me a lamp is coming, so it's not coming. You got to tell them, lamp is coming. In how many minutes? <laughs> In three minutes. Three minutes, exactly? Oh, my watch says this, my cell phone says this, which three minutes? <laughs> if you came here hundred and fifty years ago, I would have thrashed you if you asked such a question. If you asked, uh, if I become Chakreshwara, how does it feel means <laughs> When there were no human right activists, if you came, I would have really thrashed you. <laughs> But now I cannot. <laughs> When all the hundred and fourteen chakras have blossomed, it feels like 